Are you recording? Yes. So, I forgot to do a video today, um, but fortunately I'm here with esteemed Telegraph football writer JJ Bull, and he is going to ask me some serious questions now about Arsenal and their, the latest on their summer transfer activity. So, JJ, fire away. Do you think Kylian Mbappe is going to go to Arsenal, and how do you say his last name? <laughs> I say Mbappe, but I used to say Mbappe, and then all the people on YouTube told me I was wrong. Which was disappointing because I wanted it to sound like Mbop, the Hanson song. That's exactly why I wanted it as well. Because that seems to me like a brilliant chant waiting to happen. Mbappe doesn't have the same scansion, it's an extra syllable. Uh, do I think he's going to go to Arsenal? Uh, no. Bearing in mind this is legally binding. Okay, no. I would love to think he would, but I don't believe it. Uh, despite whatever, I, whatever these reports are, he's met with Zidane. Did you see that? He's met with Zidane. It's in Le Keep. No, I haven't seen that. He's met with Zidane. Imagine that you're French, you're 18 years old, and Zinedine Zidane meets you and says, I want you to come and play for Real Madrid. It's very convincing. Don't you think? Well, yeah, but he says he's, they've been after him since he was 14 or something like that. I think yeah. it would be his actual ambition will be to play for Real Madrid at some point. But why not Arsenal first? He goes to the Premier League for a little bit. I love your optimism. I think you can only have that because you're not really an Arsenal fan. Because you're a journalist, and so obviously you don't support anybody. You're perfectly impartial. That's right. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. I actually think even PSG are maybe more plausible than Arsenal. Because they're in the Champions League as well. And if the fee goes to something mental, like £140 million, Is that know. too much money for Mbappé? Maybe. You can get three really good players for that, can't you? Or two, definitely. Surely you want one elite. Would you rather have one elite? It would be a great statement. Good? It would be a great statement to get Mbappe. I really want it to happen. I just don't necessarily believe it. Next question. Come on. Do you think Sanchez is going to go to Bayern? Can you keep him? Yes. I think he's going to go to Bayern Munich. Uh, or Man City. Why do you think he's leaving? How can you retain these players? Where do Arsenal go from here? <laughs> Taking these star players? I don't know. I think they need to win things. The Premier League, not the FA Cup. Premier League. They need to be in the Champions League and get past the second round. You know this. <laughs> would you bother with that three-man defence for next season? Do you think he'll use that or do you think he'll I would to bother with normal? it, but then some, someone, some guy in America told me the other day that our XG goals conceded was still terrible with the back three. And that it's all a fluke that we didn't concede a million goals. I don't think it made any difference whatsoever to how they play. Really? Yeah, exactly the same system. The only difference is that when they were over... What do you mean it's the same system? It's got another centre-back. No, but it's just a different shape. It's a different man at the back. So it's meant to be that when you're defending crosses, they've got someone else there to get rid. But what happens is that Arsenal always dominate anyway. And so when you go up the pitch, you're just a man short of creative influence further up. Like Pep plays with three at the back, basically. But he uses Yara Turi as a third, so he just drops into the, between the two centre backs. So then when the ball gets pumped back, you've yeah. got someone who can play it from the back, like a register. If you will. Alright, zonal marking. <laughs> Chill out. No, I think. Um, Trust man to man? So. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't know, I think it did help. Because basically, when Arsenal play with the two central midfielders, Shaka is not that good defensively. Shaka can. Shaka can't, in many respects. And Ramsey, he wants to bomb on. And I just think that when he did, it meant that when you got past Shaka inevitably, because he's not great turning his back, there was a third central defender to cover. So we were a bit more secure, no? I don't know. Ramsey told us the same thing. He, the, having the three-man defence means that you can give Ramsey more licence to go and fanny about up the pitch because he's got cover. But you shouldn't have to have that anyway. I mean, you've got Ozil and Sanchez are the ones who should be allowed to try things out and get away with it. But you, you've got Ramsey in the middle of the pitch also doing it. You just It doesn't I, make much sense to me. I think that Wenger basically can't coach a back four, really. We've seen that over the last five years, and I just think a back three gives him that little bit more security. It's, I don't actually think that structurally, or in terms of the coaching or tactics, it's that... I don't think he's, like, drilling them harder. I literally just think they've got an extra man covering. What do you think of the uh, the very popular theory that they should bring George Graham back in for a year yeah. and then get Wenger in after that, once he's done all the good work and Wenger can just add some fancy stuff to it? 
Uh, yes, I think they should. And I think they should have Bruce Rioch as an interim after George Graham. Get Rioch in to do like a week. And then Stuart Houston. And then get Wenger back. That's a great plan. I'm being facetious now. Yes. Should we wrap this up? One more question. Okay. Um, what do you think of the Giroud saga? Whether he is actually of the elite level that Arsenal need? Is he good enough to take them any further? Should he go to West Ham? What's, what's the deal with him? I don't think it's fair to make him go to West Ham. But I think he... I don't think he's elite, no. But I think he's a good option. But loads of fans of other clubs get annoyed when Arsenal fans say that because they say you've got loads of players with good options. You haven't got enough elite players. Well, that is true. But it doesn't mean we should get rid of all the good squad players. I think keep him. He's great off the bench. His record as a sub is brilliant. And he'll play lots of football in the Europa League. What do you think as a neutral? I think he gives them something different as a target man. It's very useful when they need that sort of bit. But it's very rare that... I mean, Arsenal have so often had to go to that plan where they just hurl the ball into the box and the rest of it hasn't worked. Yeah. And I think that's probably a more a problem with the mentality and other aspects of the build-up play and how they get to that situation. So if they can't create the chances for it, someone else, then I don't know how Giroud's going to solve the problem. I'll keep him. I don't think you're going to get many players a better goal-to-game ratio but he doesn't. <laughs> he just doesn't have that cutting edge that you kind of need, and that's why you pay the big bucks. That's why you pay 140 million for Kylian Mbappe. That's right. Yeah. By the way, I should explain. This was bought for me as a joke. This T-shirt, and I've just started. My retaliation to the joke is to wear it. Just before you comment. That's it. Okay, that'll do. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll have thought about it more. Please leave your comments below about James's shirt yeah. and the lawnmower. <laughs>